Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to check out today's video. It's on X-Lights and I want to remind you all to make sure you go to xlights.org, scroll down and click on the donate button to make sure you're supporting the software that we all will be using to create some of the most amazing displays for your 2018 holiday and lighting seasons. Today's video is going to be on building custom models and now I know I have exhausted the topic of custom models but there's a good reason why because every time I post a video something changes now in the history of X lights there's been a lot of wonderful improvements one of those major improvements has been on how to generate a custom model so today 2018 this is February 20th what I want to do is I want to create a new video that shows you how to create the easiest of imports to a custom model the important thing for you to know is is that how you start making your model and how you end making your model the the actual order of the pixels if you use pixels or if you're using dumb nodes it's the same process know that how you created the um, actual physical model in X lights versus how you created it in real life make sure that they match and if you do you will have an absolutely perfect custom model that you'll be able to use to sequence in your displays so let's get started so let's look down here in the uh, X lights uh, layout tab we're gonna go ahead and click on create new custom model one time we're gonna click and drag and we'll make a nice big model there now over here on the left hand side we'll click on model data we'll click on the three dots and then let's change this grid size let's go with uh, I have a rectangular photo and I'm gonna go let's go 20 wide by oh, and I hit enter there uh, let's go by 20 wide by uh, 40 tall so that's rectangular and that should make us a nice large kind of graph now in my previous videos you'll see we have two different programs that we can use which is Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice or SunStar Office or any of the other free softwares that do or emulate a cell based program or a spreadsheet program we no longer need those spreadsheet programs so this is why it's so important to try and keep up with the changes because the developers are always coming up with awesome stuff so let's go right into this why don't we um, what we're going to do is we're going to physically bring in a background image you see this right here we can do that by uh, after we've selected this let's go ahead and click OK and now let's go back into the background image let's select the background image and I'll go into where I have the uh, image at there's my snowman we're gonna build a snowman and don't sing that song and now that now that you've selected it and it's in the background image you can create the grid over top of it now my snowman happen to be dumb RGB snowman if you have pixel snowman uh, you want to definitely, like I said earlier, you need to know exactly where you're starting. So I know if I made this into pixels, I would want a much smaller grid, and you can change that very easily. You can go here and make this uh, 30 wide by 60 tall. And um, let's go ahead and close that, or click OK, and then let's open it back up and see what happens. So made it bigger and we got a little bit better density you can make it even finer if you want a, a more perfect snowman the finer the density the more numbers here the larger the uh, 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 the larger the width and height the better density that you have and the more accurate location of your pixels but um, as, as I said I started down here now what we can do is we can make this just a little bit lighter and if we go down here and use this little slider where this background image is this is the opacity and we can make this just a little bit lighter now I can see I still have the little dots here now if I had pixels I would number them starting down here I would just go in and click number one number two number three number four number five and so forth. I could go around and, and oh, it's number five. Um, I could go around and do that standard like normal. It's super easy. However, we've had actual auto numbering added in with this because why use a physical number when all you have to do is actually click on the location where the pixel is going to be. So let's go to active and auto increment and this will change the auto increment by one for every time we click so let's go ahead and change this we ended with five we're gonna start with six so we'll click on six here and we'll say there's number six 
there's number seven, there's number eight, there's number nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, This is just a demo, but if you were trying to be absolutely perfect, then you want to make sure that you have it. I mean, you can even make this a little bit darker here. I don't have the model here to show you, but now you can see if we turn if we turn the opacity completely down, you can see how we can deactivate this and we can see the actual outline of the snowman. Now, if the aesthetics of this snowman doesn't fit your needs, then what you can do here is you can delete and you can move those numbers around. You can physically change all of this data. This, this probably should be 39. This probably should be 38. This probably should be 37. And all I'm doing is hitting the delete key and so forth on here. So um, let's delete. Here's 44. Probably move this out here and make this even with this arm here. 42, 43, and we can delete delete and we can make this uh, 41 so you can make it pretty if you like uh, you have that option to go back and fix it so that it looks aesthetically pleasing uh, or it, because ultimately whenever you're done when you click OK now this is your actual model and that's why I made it so big but now if we make it much smaller like it would sit in my display over on the right hand side here that would make a little bit more sense if it were pixel now in my case it's dumb RGB so here's the trick for the dumb RGB so we're gonna go ahead and recreate the exact same model simply by doing the same thing the only difference is is we'll go in here we'll put the background image I should have shown you this the right way the first time and we'll select that and then we'll go in and we'll click on model data the three dots there and uh, let's change whoop, we, well we can change this real quick uh, it's 30 by 60 I think is what we did and that should do it let's click OK click OK don't close out with the X there uh, then go back into it and it should be right there so now we have this redone and if we want to if we're if we're making a dumb RGB prop and it doesn't matter if it's absolutely perfect all we have to do is click active the active channel is number one all we have to doesn't matter where we start only the number one now is going to show up and you still have your background right there if you want to make a perfect rendition this is where you can do that where you can follow just the outline of the wireframe you can go the whole way around you don't have to rely on exactly where the pixel lights are you can just go through simply and add them all in and we'll go ahead and click OK now and there is a different rendition this is just one dumb RGB channel and we can confirm this just by looking let's go ahead and make it a little smaller so you can see them now so they look very similar I guess we can make them the same size uh, they look very similar sort of similar uh, this one being pixel this one being dumb but it's more uh, defined because you can go right along the edge you're not worried about pixel numbers you can actually just build it exactly the way it looks in your display and you'll notice that start channel 1 to start channel or end channel 231 the custom model for the second one is start channel 232 and we go 234 so 232 3 and 4 that's our one dumb RGB uh, uh, output on a dumb RGB controller so you have ways to create all of these different models that are uh, very simple, very easy to go into. You, you can either do a pixel model or you can do a uh, dumb RGB model. Uh, I happen to like pretty sometimes. Uh, other times I just want to get it on there and it, it the aesthetics in the display don't mean much. And later on in the season when I have time, like now it's January, February, March, I have time to go back and fix kind of little things to make it look prettier whenever I set up my display and do a record.
Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you click the like button down below. Also, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button to keep up to date with everything that we put out. Also, if you haven't noticed, we have a Pixel Pro Display Professional page. Come on over and check out the membership that we have available to teach you more about the x -Lights program. Thank you all for taking the time to check us out today, and have a great one. We'll see you in the next video.